Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So, probably sounds a little out of breath here. I've very frantically deployed my rig. Um, very random clear sky. Uh, I've just checked the weather forecast then, but it's going to be clear for quite a few hours. Um, so yeah, wasn't expecting it. Um, and we have had some pretty even dreadful weather, so like I said, I've just quickly deployed it. I've got the Zenith Star 61 on here uh, from William Optics, and the camera I'm going to be using is the 533MC Pro. I'm going to quickly get this thing in action, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, I've got my breath back a bit. Um, so let's uh, now come back down to earth here. Um, talk about what i'm actually doing tonight and, and by the way i apologize i've just noticed all the mess on the desk here i was in full maintenance mode uh went outside the lock up and yeah, noticed the crystal clear sky and i thought why i'm not missing this um i have to say i haven't uh, rushed to deploy the rig like that for quite some time um yeah got the heart rate going uh so target i'm going for tonight messier 33 the triangulum galaxy no reason why i just i went on Stellarium to quickly pick a target and it just stuck out uh so yeah i thought i'd grab it i'm doing this unfiltered i'm taking a gamble uh if i was in my old yard uh i probably wouldn't have gambled it i probably would have put my i think i used to use the uh l pro max from skytech but I've, I've went unfiltered and I see unfiltered. I've actually got an IR cup filter in there just to minimise the star blow. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm going for. I've already got, uh, how many have I got? I've got 10 exposures already and they're looking pretty good. Uh, I, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just maybe show you the exposures at the end of the session. I uh, just want to keep a track on this because I've rushed it. Uh, I want to make sure everything's... Um, going okay if you know what i mean um the stars are looking all right though um <laughs> i've never i don't think i've um pulled a line that fast in my life uh, but yeah normally when you rush things things go wrong but everything seems to have gone right uh, maybe i should rush all the time <laughs> who knows anyway um that's how it's going up there now uh and I, I suppose i'll just i'll catch up years later on um Perhaps the end of the session, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more and talk about the exposures, and just let you know how the night's gone in general. Well, uh, that is the end of the session. I uh, didn't go that great, but uh, yeah, hey, uh, it is what it is. I uh, got <laughs> all of one hour worth of data. Um, at least I got one hour's worth. Uh, you know, the podcast wasn't as great as what it made out. Um, in fact, uh, it kept changing. It was all over the shop and it reflected in the sky as well. Uh, yeah, the clouds kept coming in to uh, ruin the show. Uh, another bright side though, you know, um, at least I know I can do three minute exposures um, with no filter in my garden. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bonus. I have stacked this. To see where I'm at, and it doesn't look too bad actually, to be fair. Uh, and I'm going to show you that on the computer now. Probably not so. My attire has slightly changed. I've had to do this the <laughs> day after. Um, I caught my little boy at my computer earlier, and I I have a suspicion he's deleted my footage. <laughs> Bless him. So yeah, uh, it's no drama. I'll just do it now. So here she is, this is a one hour's, what you get for one hour's worth of data. Um, stacking deep sky stacker, there is evidence of some light pollution here, but like I said, I haven't got a light pollution filter in there. Uh, this is, um, apart from the IR cup filter, it is unlight pollution filtered. Uh, the IR cup filter has done a pretty good job keeping them stars down. Um, the mount's tracking all right, the, the stars are pretty roundish. Um, but yeah, there, there she is. Um, I'm quite happy with how much I've got with an hour. So if you're interested, if you've never captured this galaxy before, um, here is how to find it. And I'll hop into the Stellarium now. So for me in northeast of England and northern hemisphere, uh, it's quite fairly high up this time of year. 
Um, so here she is uh, in the constellation, funny enough, triangle. And it's this triangle looking constellation here. And it's just to the, the right of it here. Um, I, from my sky, I can see this quite prominent. So if I want them to find this manually, I'll just I'll probably go this star and come across and just sort of star hop if you like. Um, I did in the past, because uh, I couldn't really see this properly in my old yard, I, I used to use the more prominent Cassiopeia. I used to use these stars. These are sort of arrow point to sort of bring me down. It took a little longer, but you know, uh, other ways, if you can find this constellation, you could probably go to this star, which is uh, Mirich, uh, in the constellation Andromeda, and you can come across that way, um, whatever you fancy. Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy isn't that far from, from me either. So let's zoom in. I'll hop on this so I don't lose it. So this uh, this has got some great features in this galaxy. It's a face on spiral galaxy, so it's facing us. Um, this nebula here, I uh, have some great pictures of this. Uh, this this nebula is massive. It's uh, It's got its own catalogue number, NGC 604. You know, look look it up. It's, it's quite nice, to be fair. Um, I wouldn't mind having a nice big scope so I could get right, well, I don't think I'd get re right in close to it, but, you know, it'd be nice to get right in on the galaxy and try and pick out some of the detail. There's there's loads of neb nebulosity in here, and it's quite active. So this galaxy is about uh, roughly 2.7 million light years away from Earth. And, yeah, it's uh, yeah quite a beauty. I quite like it. It's the third biggest in our local group of galaxies, our Milky Way galaxy being the second largest and Andromeda being the largest, is there, like we just mentioned. Well that is where I am at at present. Uh, so there is some more clear skies tonight, uh, forecast about three hours between I think five o'clock and eight o'clock this evening. I don't usually like to uh, image that earlier on, people are still cutting around so there's lights and, and all that on cars going about but you know, I'll, I'll take what I can. Um, See, see how it goes. Can but try. Uh, so I'll again. I'll uh, I'll let you know how it's all gone in the morning. Well, uh, <laughs> last night was absolute roller coaster, and yeah, absolute all over the shop. So, true to the forecast, three hours was crystal clear skies, beautiful. Um, you know, couldn't argue with that. Um, I hope I got zero. That's right, zero exposures, not one. Uh connection issues. Um, it won't connect. Many PCs just would not connect. I don't know what's going on. I know it's not my internet. I've checked that. I went past the ring. I was getting full Wi-Fi signal. I've got Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi hubs everywhere. I'm running uh, on the band frequencies at 2.4 uh, megahertz. Um, I just couldn't understand it. And then just before seven o'clock, worked and worked perfect. Night before, seamlessly. It's just. It's done this a couple of times. I don't understand. Uh, the only thing I haven't checked is the actual mini PC itself. So, uh, I'll probably take it off the rig and have a look. Uh, maybe wipe it clean and that, and start again. Maybe I don't know. Maybe uh, update it. Might be some updates. Maybe it's not running right. I don't know. Um, I have got a feel safe. Um, I've got the <laughs> I wasn't going to show you this. And it's, to be fair, I wasn't going to put this on the rig. I had other plans for it, but I've got the ASI uh, Plus. Um, I'm, got this actually um mid-november uh, so i will be doing a video on it uh, but yeah i think i'll pop that on the rig uh for a bit and see how, how i fare on that uh oh yeah quite frustrating anyway uh yeah 
this channel wouldn't be this channel without a few ups and downs. Uh, nothing seems to score right for me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I will take you through everything I've gathered. I've done a few bits to it. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through it now. Okay, well, here she is. I've uh, stacked all the data that I got. Uh, you know, although I had a shaky start them three hours, uh, it was on and off. And I was sort of shooting through sucker holes all night. Um, and I managed to get another couple of hours to be, to be well, I got a lot more. Um, but uh, I think I've got rid of half the exposures. I've ended up with three hours. Um, not too, too bad. Funny enough, this is exactly the same amount of exposure time that I got last time I caught this, which was about a year ago. And I'll tell you what, I'll sh pop this on. Uh, not going wrong in this image. It's a bit blurry. Uh, I think there was a bit of star trailing. Contrast ain't great. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but we'll go back to this one. A lot better. Stars, stars are uh, not as trailly. Um, if they are trailly, a bit more detail in there. I have um, done a few other bits. Actually, extracted the stars. Um, brought the colour up a bit here. Yeah. There's uh, some nebulosity showing up on it. Ideally, I would have liked to get another three hours on this, but you know, I will take what I can. Uh, I don't think I'm not sure when I'm going to get next clear sky. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I think the main thing is, it's a improvement from last time, and and that's why I aim for. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, of course, I want a, a clear, a clear and perfect image, but you know, as long as it's better than the last, um, and it's sort of progressing, then you know. Um, I am happy. Well, um, I'm probably going to redo that data, to be honest. I only brought it up quickly uh, just, just to show you what I potentially get. Uh, I'm going to take my time on it, um, and I'm going to share it at the end. Uh, I hope you enjoy the image. Um, I'm not going to capture any more data on it. I, I want to concentrate on the Orion Nebula. Uh, I mentioned a couple of videos. I want to get more as much data as possible with that before it actually disappears in, uh, I think, February. Um, for me, anyway. So... Yeah, uh, I see what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, very disjoint video again. <laughs> I think it may be a growing trend for this channel. Life isn't perfect, astrophotography isn't perfect. There's always a spanner that'll throw in and uh, really knock you off your, off your perch and test you. But you, know, you, you persevere. Um, I've always said from the beginning, I wanted to share the ups, the downs, you know, the mistakes. Everyone makes them. Everything doesn't go perfect. Um, you know, I'll, I don't want to portray astrophotography as perfect because it's not. It's, but it is a great hobby, uh, <laughs> nevertheless. So I'm gonna leave it there. It is New Year's Eve, so I wish everyone a happy New Year um, and all the best for 2022. Whatever you may be doing, um, you know, please stay safe and yeah, take care, everyone. Please, guys, and. See you next year. Bye for now.